Computer Science 156 at UC Santa Barbara. In this video, I'm going to illustrate a very simple example of a merge conflict that can happen with Git and GitHub. I've created a repo here, and as you can see, all I have in it right now is license and readme.md. And I want to use this repo as the basis for uh, building a Spring Boot application that uses a RESTful API. I have some starter code I want to pull into this repo. When I do, uh, the starter code is actually from this demo Spring Boot console app. So I'm going to come over here and get the, um, get the uh, URL for this. What's going to happen is, because this has also already has a readme.md and a license file, I may very well get a merge conflict when I try to pull that in. So I'm over here and I'm in my uh, demo Spring Boot use RESTful API. You'll see that the only files I have are license and readme. If I do a get remote minus v, the only remote I have right now is the origin, the one I cloned this from. I'm going to do a get remote add starter and I'm going to paste that URL so that now if I do a get remote minus v, I have two remotes, origin and starter. Then I'm going to try to do a get pull starter main. And when I do that, you will see, first of all, refusing to merge unrelated histories. Because these two repos don't share any common ancestor commits, it doesn't want to pull that in. However, I can get around that by doing get pull starter main um, ignore unrelated or actually it's allow, allow unrelated histories. Now it will work, but I get this conflict right here. So automatic merge failed, fix conflicts, and then commit the result. The only merge conflict is in readme.md. And I do a get status, and I see unmerged paths both added readme.md. It's trying to do a commit here, and it's going to commit these files, the ones that I pulled from my starter code, but before it will let me do the commit, I need to fix this uh, merge conflict. Now, uh, the simplest way to fix a merge conflict is you just edit the file in which the merge conflict occurs. This time it's in readme.md. So I'm going to open this up in VS Code. And here is my repo in VS Code. And in readme.md, you will see that inside readme.md, um, there are these special lines, the less than, less than head, the equals line, and the greater than, greater than, and then this hash. Now, VS Code is very nicely coloring these for me so that I can see what's going on. But let me show you what would happen if I brought this up in just like plain old Vim. So if I do plain old Vim readme.md, you'll see that I've got the, the less than, less than head, the, the equals line, and these are just ordinary lines in the file. So in Vim, to, to resolve this in Vim, I would just decide which of these contents do I want. And I really want this line right here, demo Spring Boot use RESTful API. Uh, but it will be a Spring Boot console app, so maybe I'll keep that line. So I'm just going to delete the lines I don't need, including those lines that are marking the beginning and ending of the, of the merge conflict. And then I'll save that. And then over here, uh, and um, you'll see that now that, that looks just fine in VS Code as well. Um, and then I do a get status. I get add readme.md. And then I do a get commit. Uh, pull in starter code for Spring Boot console app. Get push origin main. And it's as simple as that. Now, not all merge conflicts will be that easy to resolve, but I hope to show you that um, a merge conflict can be quite easy to resolve, uh, as long as you can look in to the file and see which parts do you want from the old version, which parts do you want from the new version, and then get rid of the extra lines. It's as easy as that. Uh, okay, hope this video was helpful, and uh, more content coming soon.